people at YouTube. Thank you for joining us. We are Paradise RV. My name is Nate. Behind the camera is Mr. Carl. And over there is Mr. Joseph Edeline. And thank you for joining us for Let's Do a Walkthrough. Today we're going to be going over a 2017 Fleetwood Discovery uh, 40E. It's the LXE version. This thing's a beaut, so stick around and we'll go through it. This thing is loaded with bells and whistles and tons of goodies. Uh, first thing we'll knock out is the front kiosk. Uh, you got your generator bed. This thing comes with uh, 8,000 watt generator. And you need every bit of those watts for the three ACs on top. It also has a Truma tankless water heater. It's got 66 hours. Don't be. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's a beast, but uh, it gives you plenty of power to run everything that you need. Uh, it's got a nice giant windshield. You see it has uh, an awning for your door with a nice little LED strip. And then you got your regular awning. Uh, I have to find out how wide this is, but it's pretty wide. Um, it's got the little power strip on there too. I uh, bet you that's a 20 foot awning. Every bit of it. I'm gonna take that bed. Um, you see a nice giant slide here. It also has a bedroom slide too, uh, which we'll bring out in just a minute. Uh, you got your Michelin tires. Uh, this also has uh, your diesel fill on both sides. Uh, one tank, two places to put. Convenient. Very convenient. Take a look at some of these cargos. Uh, the previous owner put the carpets in there and I think that was a nice touch. Uh, you got your slide tray here. Smooth. Uh, oh, it does have the cool little LED underlit thing. Don't know if you can see it or not. Yep, I got it on film here. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you put more carving. So you got all the huge pass-through storage that you find in these nice big diesel pushers, Class A. Uh, this one also has like a window cover for the front. It's all magnetized. Really nice. Um, so nice little accessories that you can find along the way when you when you buy these uh, nice luxury Class A's. Uh, more storage. Or not storage. Um, things to hang. Is that like a tool hanging rack? Yes. Huh. That's awesome. Uh, Unexpected. Yeah. yeah. Special. This looks like your uh, potable water. Yep. Potable only. Is it potable or potable? Maybe a little of both. It's probably potable. Oh, I man. normally say things Second wrong. place, fifth grade, fifth grade spelling bee, man. Oh, yeah. I've never been in one. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. Right, well, you know, some of us are smarter than others. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you got your nice little Dirt Devil central vacuum cleaner. Uh, this, I believe, is for the macerator, uh, which it's not in here. So I would assume it's probably in the wet bay. Uh, you also got your ladder uh, for getting on the back. Uh, nice reflector lights it does have the b ride did we pass the outdoor entertainment yes i think we did, we did. ah let's go all right yeah it can't have that. so it just blends yeah. in so well it does you don't even notice it's there uh which is maybe a good bad thing i don't know so yeah you got an outdoor entertainment with your flat screen tv cd dvd player and your speakers forgive me i just ate some of uh joe's delicious lasagna his sister cooked lasagna for us here, and it was, it was quite, good. quite tasty. It was, it was great. Uh, I got one little plate, and Ryan came in. He's like, you're really showing some uh, some self-control there. <laughs> yeah, it's hot outside, and I got to do a video walkthrough. So uh, just a little bit of storage, but not really. Uh, it's mainly uh, uh, some solenoids in your, uh, your battery control center, uh, which is mainly just fuses. Um, See. Yeah, here's Whoa. your giant inverter. That thing's yeah. huge. Yeah, uh, I wanted to see how big it was. Uh, I'm guessing a 2000, 2000 watt inverter. Plenty enough to be able to, I would assume, run the microwave and the uh, refrigerator. Because yeah. that's a residential refrigerator. It's like it says, continuous output is 2800. Yep. Jeez, there you go. Good lord. Uh, you also got your pergo switch or your battery disconnect. 
So here's the hydraulic fluid for your for your auto levelers. You got your Truma water heater. Is that the tankless? It is. Nice. Truma, I believe, is always tankless. Almost, yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, and then you got your one of two furnaces. So it has a furnace back here for the back, and then it has a furnace for the front too. Um, yep. And then you got your nice diesel pusher. Uh, Oof. Engine in the back, hence the diesel pusher. Uh, but it's a freight liner. There's uh, 380 horsepower in it. Uh, runs runs like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> it runs really well. It's like floating on a cloud. Because um, of that V-Ride? Yep. Uh, then this, this guy updated all of his batteries with uh, uh, AGMs. So these are all sealed. Uh, very expensive because you see four right here and then you got more right here uh, I'd have to talk to the technicians. I'm guessing these are the chassis batteries and then the house batteries are the AGMs um, But then you also have uh, your big depth uh, fluid Woo. So, Man, yep. This thing has got a lot of stuff in it. It sure does uh, just great. Uh, yeah, so you got cool. uh, power. Yep. Um, you got your auto transfer switch, and then you got your power reels, both for the water and for the uh, 50 amp service. So I like the auto reels. Never try to roll up a 50 amp cord. Uh, a couple times. Yeah. Not That's fun. not fun at all. They're heavy and cumbersome. Uh, looks like you got another potable uh, fill station right there. And then yeah, here's your dump station. Uh, right there is your macerator, plugs into your, your black tank, and then uh, you just hook this up and let it go. You also have your uh, water filter, and then a couple switches, water heater bypass for winterization, you got a water pump, you got your back flush, you got your city, you got a little shower for outdoor, you got your standard little... Uh, <laughs> standard issue paper towels? Yep, and the holder. That's. You know, a common thing that they put on there. Easy access to your water pump, which is nice. In case those things fall out. What's that blue hose there? The blue hose? Yeah, the one in your hand. This one? Yeah. Oh, that's for the macerator. Oh. Uh, so this is your macerator. I don't really want to touch it. I, I don't think he's rarely used it. Uh, but that's your macerator right there. So all of the, uh, uh, the sewer waste flows through the macerator, chews it up and it pumps it out this hose. Gotcha. Because it can fit through this hose now because it's just been... Pureed. Pureed. Yes, exactly. Like split pea soup. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, so these are just more cargo storage, that, that pass-through cargo storage that we showed you. Yep. More access to it. Uh, here's your giant propane bay. Whoa, that yeah. thing's massive! That's a lot of propane. Um, let's see. Is that 38? 38.7 gallons. Whoa! And then, before we go on to the inside, uh, you've got more stuff here. So you got your washer fluid. you got a, um, the air hose connect for your air ride system. And then just more fuses and things like that. Uh, you got your uh, your controller for the, the freight liner. That's what all your electronics run top of in the front. So anyway, pretty nice, clean. Uh, the guy did state that he got uh, ceramic coating on this thing. So really clean, garage kept. It's a nice unit. We'll go on to the inside. All right, so let's take a gander on the inside and the nice cool air conditioning. It's still a little toasty out here in South Carolina. Things beautiful. Um, love Fleetwood. Love what they do. Love the interior. I want to scoot behind you if you want to go do like a walkthrough or just like a zoom really quick, and then I'll point your direction back towards me. Um, I'll show you a couple things up here. So, let's see, we got the keys. It's going to beep at us, but it's worth the beeping. So. You got your air conditioning controls, you got your backup camera, uh, you got side view cameras, 
no channel 4. But you at least got side view cameras and your backup camera. Um, it comes with a Fleetwood, guided by Garmin. Oh, I like that, that's kind of funny. It's got a little Mickey Mouse thing in there. So you got your navigation and all that good stuff. Uh, here's your parking brake. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, you got your speedometer, your tack, your oil pressure, your oil temperature, all that good stuff. Uh, PSI for the hydraulics. Uh, you got some cool docking lights, your brake retarder, your blinds up and down. Um, up, up, down. Uh, front side shade, so it does have a day shade if you didn't want to block out all the sun. Um, and then down here, you got a lot more. You got auxiliary start, you got a utility light, your generator start and stop, obviously USB auxiliary ports. Uh, the way you can control your uh, your radio, so if you're in travel mode or if you're at the park, uh, yeah, if you're at the park, it's funny that that comes on, and then uh, control for your keyless entry. So, all really cool, lots, tons, you also got the air horn, beep beep, beep beep, I feel like a kid, just probably scared a lot of people. Um, up here you got auto leveling. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's the Fleetwood bag, just storage up there. Over here, uh, antenna. This comes with the in motion satellite disc or satellite dish. <laughs> yeah. Dish. Uh, dish. Um, this is the control for your for your awning, your door awning. Oops, drop something. Uh, slide controls for there. Um, so yeah, just kind of really goodies. You look, I love the trim of the seats. It feels nice. It's like that butter leather or whatever they call it. Um, got tons of storage over here. You got your map lights. Uh, on this one, they did upgrade the uh, the couch, uh, which is really nice. It still has the tag on it. Ashley furniture. You know, it's, it's nice. It's very plush. You got your hideaway TV with your Bose speaker. Brilliant, I love it. Um, hideaway TV, push button. I always think of MTV Cribs <laughs> with the hideaway <laughs> TV, you know? I feel like that's what like a, a really cool rapper would have, you know? Um, oh, let me turn that beeping off. Uh, it also is wired for internet too. So, you can do that. It's like home away from home. Uh, I'll figure out how to get those four ways off at some point. <laughs> uh, you got tons of counter space. You got the true induction, uh, which is really nice. So if you're cooking in here, it's not going to get all hot and smoky. Uh, you got a microwave and it is a convection. Uh, with this one, you also have the dishwasher. The dishwasher. Dishwasher and an RV. Yes. Home away from home. Where's the lock? Oh, let's lock that. Locks for travel mode. Uh, you got nice deep well, two tier sink. I don't know if tier is the right word. Uh, but you got farm style. Farm style is one big. Uh, and you can see there's just tons of cabinets and storage all over the place. Uh, there's, uh, oh yeah, did I show you the wine cabinet or the liquor cabinet? So, you put all your favorite beverages in there, or we don't drink. Uh, we probably put like uh, sparkling grape juice. Looks exactly like champagne. Tastes way better. And you don't feel like crap the next day. <laughs> uh, you got a nice little pantry so you can put, uh, you know, your spices or, or Campbell's soup. For whatever soup. It goes back. It goes back pretty far too. It does. I can fit my whole my whole arm back there. At least two foot. <laughs> uh, lock. There you go. Uh, this will go back on here. You got your resident residential style refrigerator. Looks exactly like the refrigerator of my house. Um, you got auto dispense water and uh, cubed ice if you'd like it, or crushed, whichever you prefer. I personally like cubed. Um, more drawers. Uh, I'm bouncing around now. Yeah, that's a freezer. Ooh, I don't remember the name. That looked like a little extra something in there too. Oh. Kind of slid out. Yeah, 
So you got your top shelf in there. There you go. Yeah, normally uh, we put the ice cream up here so the kids don't see it initially. <laughs> we put it in the back because you actually have to bend down and look for it. There you go. It only works about a quarter of the time. There you go. They really like ice cream. Alright, so you got your half bath here, uh, which is really nice in case you need to use the bathroom and you're sleeping on this side of the bed or you're hosting and people need to and you don't have to walk the whole way through. Um, there you go. Uh, washer dryer. Uh, so yeah, obviously it, in most of these luxury diesel pushers, uh, it comes with the option for the washer and dryer. So this one has it. Uh, it does have a king size bed. Uh, standard with all trade-ins, we do take the old mattress out just for uh, purposes of the next buyer. Um, it's a little more clean and sanitary, but you, just, you never know. Uh, and then you got two spacious wardrobes on either side uh, with lights. Um, you got another TV. I think this thing has five TVs is what the guy said. So up there is your central vacuum cleaner hose. I think it plugs in around here somewhere. I think there's a couple places. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this slide isn't out actually. Nope, it is not. Let's get it out. Show the people all the space. <laughs> or not. Uh, or not. <laughs> Are the keys still in the ignition? I believe so. No, they're out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, maybe the hazards won't let me put it out? Uh, that is a possibility. It's a learning experience. It is. I don't know why these hazards... What did you do, man? I'll talk to Wayne. He's, stay he's puff, all things stay diesel puff marshmallow, pusher. man. Yeah. He's all things diesel pusher. Huh. Hmm. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. We'll figure it out later. Uh... It does work. It does. We promise yeah, you. It does work. It does. Um, and then we also give a 30-day shakedown with all of our units. So if you buy something used from us, we give a 30-day guarantee that everything works. You find something that doesn't work, bring it back. We check it out. If it is, in fact, broken, we fix it. Um, nice glass enclosure shower. It's nice. Yeah. No, this, this is really nice. Yeah. And you got a... This skylight to get your cortisol and dopamine in the morning. Thank you, Dr. Huberman. Uh, you got uh, a macerator here too, so uh, you can pre-macerate it before it gets to the end stage. Um, and then giant storage in here. So you can put your towels and your toiletries and all of that good stuff. Uh, I do like this sink and the setup. It feels very, um, I don't know, royal? Luxury. It's a pretty good word, yeah. Yeah. It's gold. Like, yeah. The golden faucet. Yep. Uh, and like the little ramp, you can put uh, put some stuff up there. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, this luxury is beyond me. You know? <laughs> uh, cool. Well, thank you for tuning in. My name's Nate. Uh, behind the camera now is Joe. We did pass it off. Uh, a little movie magic in there in case you didn't uh, pick up on it. Anyway, uh, we are Paradise RV. Thank you for joining us for Let's Do a Walkthrough. This is 2017 Fleetwood Discovery LXE40E. Um, and yeah, check out all of our inventory, subscribe. You can uh, see more cool walkthroughs of RVs on a weekly basis. Uh, have a good one. <laughs>